Matt, quite a tough afternoon here against Swindon, which ends in, in defeat. Yeah, I don't want to do, let the after the sending off distort things. I thought, um, firstly, frustrated that we concede so early. Um, concede early with something that, um, uh, yeah, a poor goal to concede for sure. Um, and then for the remainder of the half, the game planned out exactly how we thought it would plan out and how we wanted it to plan out to a degree. We knew they'd have lots of possession. We knew that um, they would uh, try and be expansive at times and we knew that we'd be able to win the ball and play for them, which is what we did, um, and have chances against them because they're a team that don't really want to defend. They want to um, they want to play, which they do, and they do really well. But I thought uh, after conceding a goal so early again, as I say, that um, was frustrating. It then became the game that we thought it would be. Um, and then when the moments come where we get the chances, don't quite get on the end of it. We didn't quite make that pass to when the counter attacks were on, which they were on. Didn't quite make that uh, the the correct pass or the correct way of pass, which then just allowed them to get back. Um, so yeah, frustrating that we didn't um, that we didn't quite probably get what the first half I felt as it wore on. Um, it felt like it was coming. I said, obviously, with Freddie's chance at the end, and there was, as I say, there was a load of chances where um, we had the opportunity to play forward or we had the opportunity to make a pass and then play forward uh, when they'd, we'd stole it off them, and it didn't quite work. And it didn't quite happen on the day. So that's the frustration for me. And now probably the second half, uh, it began the game that I didn't really want it to become in terms of um, I thought that we tried to score too quickly. I thought we came, became a little bit too forcing passes when we didn't need to. Um, and uh, and that was where the game was won and lost for me. So, um, yeah, second goal there, obviously the sending off. Uh, I don't know why it's the sending off. Never been a second booking, in my opinion, when I watch it uh, seat back. Um, so, I don't understand why that's been given. And then, obviously, that takes out the, uh, the sting out of the game. So, yeah, that was the course of it for me. Going a goal down so early on in the game then gives them that little bit of confidence. But they didn't necessarily build too much on that and cause us too many issues as a, as a defensive unit. But then... You see the likes of Blake Tracy, who likes to, to come out with the ball, Godwin Malief as well. Couldn't quite make those penetrating passes, like you say, in those final thirds and capitalise on their mistakes. Yeah, yeah exactly what I just said then. Yeah, exactly that. We knew um, that their outside centre half, with the way that we were doing it, might have a little bit of time and space on the ball. I'm not bothered about that. I wasn't bothered about that because they, they weren't able to hurt us uh, with that. Um, what hurt us was a free header in the box in the first half. But no, it wasn't a free header. It was a a header where he's pulled into space and uh, managed to get a header in the box. So we'll work and look on that. Um, uh, but it played out exactly how I thought it would play out and then uh, just needed that ability at, at the right time when we won the ball back, when Blake Tracy gave us the ball back, when Goodwin Malief gave us the ball back to then really yeah, yeah. penetrate in the way that we would want to. So that, uh, that was the frustration um, that we didn't capitalise on the opportunities that we had. Uh, and then, as I say, the sending off alters the, the last bit of the game and you don't get the head of steam that we felt like we might get. Possibly a bit of fatigue from, from Liam Gordon there at the end just to you know make that wrong choice and go back towards Owen Evans. But other than that, I thought he had a, you know, a, a pretty good game considering what he's done this week on international tour. Yeah, well, Liam, as I said, I'm proud of everything that he does, what he stands for. He's um, an incredible bloke and he's somebody who uh, I love immensely. So... Um, yeah, these things happen. No one means to play a layer back pass in. Um, I thought and when we saw at the back end of the first half um, what Liam's all about when he goes past their right wing back um, and, uh, and you know gives us a, an opportunity in the box. That, that's what Liam is all about and that's what he does regularly for us. Um, as you say, uh, maybe he wasn't quite able to do that as much as he would have wanted to um, and maybe there was that little bit of a fatigue and all of that. He wasn't with us until... Uh, yesterday morning and he's yeah well that is what it is we go to our blessing because he's he's a fantastic player and I'm proud of him for, for getting his opportunity to play for his country um, as I say just those key bits um, could we get our wing backs a little bit higher when we had the ball could we step in with our outside centre backs when we, we recovered the ball which we did um, and but unfortunately we didn't quite do that on the day and uh, and we didn't uh, we didn't have the ability to go and get that final head of steam which uh, I thought probably it would have, uh, in the way that the game was playing out, I expected us to get some chances. I had a feeling uh, that we would get them opportunities at the end of it, but gets the sting out of the game when we uh, get the second, when the, get, uh, Tom sent off.
bring DJ on at 60 minutes. He had to be patient recently, he hasn't to come on and get his, his opportunity. And then, obviously, like you said, they're sending off changes the game and changes the dynamic of how you've got to go about that. But the team sort of adapted well at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always difficult when you go down to 10 men, especially against a team that want to pass uh, in the way that they do. Always difficult and you kind of, you've already made a couple of changes, so then it affects what your next changes might be. So, yeah, and, and as I say, it's not a sending off, it's not a second yellow card, absolutely no chance. Um, so, that's frustrating. Final note, an early assessment from, from Oshie McKenzie there. It comes off, looks like he's got a bit of a knock. Is it just a, a precaution remove there? Uh, yeah, no, he's fine. Everyone was fine who came off. I was a bit concerned about Ryan, which is why I brought Ryan off. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's why we brought Ryan off and altered things as we did um, early. Because, obviously, as we know, Ryan's got the ability to, to kind of dictate a game at times. So, but I wanted to protect him and make sure that, that uh, it didn't become an afternoon, which could have been the other way with it. So, but I thought the lads put in some real, real work. Oh, she's fine, by the way. Sorry, just picking up on that. He put a lot of work in. Um, you know, for me, I want to obviously say thank you to all the supporters who came. Um, gutted that we weren't able to give them a similar afternoon to the Salford game. Um, there will be more of them moments throughout the season. I'm, I'm sure about that. It felt like there might be a, another one of them today, but obviously it got, gets taken away as the uh, when the sending off happens. Um, so yeah, frustrated for them, but thank you. You know, thankful for them for. For, for being there as they have been throughout the whole time. They sang extremely loudly and proudly in that corner there just over my shoulder uh, and I could hear them throughout and they stuck with us throughout it as well, which is, it's, and I've banged on about that relentlessly um, and I've re reiterated something to the players there about, you know, in this division you will lose football matches, but it is always about what's the next thing that you do um, and the next thing that we do must be a positive action that we do. Uh, have a really good, strong week in training. Um, We've been off a, on the back of a good run. We want to start another run, um, and that's our focus for this week.